Level five, I swear, if you make fire chicken, Aisat, before you make fire lemonade, we're gonna have a problem on our hands. What's up, YouTube? LucasTV719 here, and it's about time we go over the extra details that came in last month in Azuma Walker. Usually, I would have done this much earlier, but I got caught up with finals and then Christmas came, so I got a bit sidetracked. By the way, happy holidays to all of you out there. Now, I guess we should stop wasting time and get down to the nitty gritty, because unlike last month, we actually got some juicy stuff this time around. For the December issue of Inazuma Walker, we have the basic guests, Level 5 President Akihiro Hino and Mochan. But this time, we actually got a special guest joining us, Takahiro Mizushima, also known as the voice of everyone's favorite red-haired fake alien, Kiyama Hiroto. By the way, Mr. Hino, I see you. That necklace, just like Goenji's, where can I find one? It's really hard to find any sort of Inazuma merch, so if I find some, just tell me where can I get it. Anyway, ignoring my inner fanboy, we got some fan art of several different characters made by fans of the show. Some of them I consider better than others. Some of them were actually kind of funny. People could make coaches, managers, players. It was crazy, some of these um, pictures. I'm like, how do these kids make this? I like, I want to be able to draw like this. Anyway, the reason I'm talking about fan art is that Inazuma has actually put fan art characters in the show several times before. Examples include Kamezaki Kappa, that rainbow chick from Go, her shot, that Iron Guts, I believe his name, character was from Go, his shot, Dinosaur Break, that wood guy from Galaxy, and believe it or not, Mecha Endo and his Kishin, all fan characters that were given to the show and they actually put in the game and show. So look at these designs and be wary, these guys could appear in the show, be it throwaway characters or main characters, all of it is possible. After the display of those fan characters, they gave us four designs for the new Zeus uniform with Aphrodite's new design as our model. So we got A, B, C, and D. And what I noticed while I was watching was that they were actually letting the people on the stream vote. And I'm like, okay, vote for C, vote for C, vote for C, vote for C. And I could see the chat room and it was going crazy. But in the end, we ended up with B. Which, I mean, it's okay. I don't like that his uniform is now a dress. But I guess too many fans were a fan of the new Z hat scarf he's rocking. So, ladies and gentlemen, letter B is your new design for Aphrodite and Ares. After showing us the fan art and Aphrodite, things started to tone down. This was around the time that they actually invited um, Kiyama's uh, voice actor to come on, and they watched an episode of Inazuma 11, now with commentary. It was episode 18, I believe, also known as the episode where Kido joins Raimon and they have to break down the infinite wall. It was nice with their commentary. I mean, they didn't use too much commentary, so it wasn't completely distracting. But it was nice to see an episode without subtitles, but being able to know what they're saying after seeing the episode, like, dozens of times. Before we get to the biggest piece of news, I want to show something that Mr. Hino showed towards the end, even after Outer Code, I think. Apparently there's a smartphone game that they're developing for the game. He just showed us like what it looks like on his phone. There wasn't much um, description on what it's doing, but I'm guessing it's like a Sims where you can check out your players or something. I don't know, we'll probably get more information as the months go on. However, outside of Outer Code, the biggest news we got this month were the first screenshots of Inatuma 11, Odd is no 10 the game. I mean, look at it. This is beautiful. It's like strikers rather than just a handheld game. And from this, it's pretty easy to assume 
This is not 3DS. I mean, just last month, Pokemon Sun and Moon came out, and that thing was pushing the 3DS to its absolute limits. And this is definitely bigger than that. So I'm, I'm blocking my answer, final answer, putting money on it. This is going to be on the Switch. There's no other option at this point. This is going to be on the Switch, and I cannot believe we're finally getting an Inazuma 11 game, like a main series Inazuma 11 game, on a console. Granted, the Switch is a hybrid handheld console, but still, they can put so much more into the game now that it's console-based instead of just a handheld, and the matches are going to look great. So, the cutscenes can be animated and everything. I'm actually hyped for this game, and it gives me a new reason to actually save money towards the Switch. Lastly, we have the ending where they gave a hint for next month's episode of Inazuma Walker appearing on January 20th. Now, usually I would just do this as a throwaway comment, but the title of the hint that they gave us is really important. Its title is that guy makes his reappearance. Now, I don't know about you, but that guy obviously has to refer to one of the big three. The only question is, which member of the big three? Kido, Kowenji, or Endo? Now, we can easily assume that all of them are in separate schools due to the reinforcement committee implied by Someoka in the first episode of Outer Code. So the thing is, what school? Now I've um, implied before in my previous video that I'm speculating that Kido is in Seisho Gakuen since Heizaki is there and Heizaki has already made hints that he knows Kido and the fact that he knows Kido's like big move, Death Zone. As for Goenji Shuya, I'm guessing he's either in his old school of Kirokawa, or he's gone to Okinawa. Kirokawa because it's his old school, and Okinawa kind of because he was there in season 2, and it might be a nod to us old fans by putting him back there. I'm not exactly sure. As for Endo, he doesn't really have a huge tie with either another character or another school, so I have no idea where he can be. But I know one thing, whatever school Endo ends up in is going to be a big contestant for Asuto and the new Raimon 11. Because if you put Endo on a team, that team's skill level exponentially just goes up. I mean, our favorite Saka Yaroze guy on a team, that's immediately going to be a huge task for Asuto and the gang to take on. So, I'm putting my guess out there. I'm guessing that that guy that we're seeing next month is going to be none other than everyone's favorite Inazuma legend, Endo Mamoru. But that's to be seen, so we just got to wait for January 20th. With that, that's all the extra info that came out of Inazuma Walker this week. If you haven't seen my review on the episode of Outer Code, check it out and give me your thoughts, because I'd love to hear them. Also, in this video, give me your thoughts on who you think we're seeing next month. Goenji, Kido, or Endo, because I'd love to hear your thoughts. You've heard mine, and we just gotta wait for January 20th. So, I'm LucasTV719, and I will see you in 2017.